I've always believed in my heart that there is a future for our high streets. And the good news is, you do too. I'm on a mission with Anchor Store to rewild retail. We're going into an independent yeah. time. There's so many little shops springing up. I personally think we're going to see less retail, yeah. but better. I'm going to meet with some of these independents and I'm going to share with you their ideas and what they've done that makes their business work and how you can do the same. Come with me, I'm going shopping. When I did my High Street Report 11 years ago, I talked about the power of community and how important it is for retailers to embed themselves in the community. Today I'm visiting a shop where two women met in their community on local market stores, decided to come together and created a shop that brought in other makers. They employ from the community, they obviously serve the community and they give back to charitable works in the community. And now they have four shops because they do it from there. And that's a great place to start with any business. Hello. Hello, Hello. there. How are you? Good. I'm Sandra. Evelyn. Look at Good these happy you. faces. So this is your first shop? Our yep. first shop. It's our baby. This is the baby. <laughs> yeah. Very and much the baby. How long ago was that? Six, six and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. Right, About six right. six and a half years ago. Yeah. Tell, tell me how it started, because didn't you two meet down the market? <laughs> Ev and I both started on market stalls, so that's how we started. So mm. we'd done three years doing all the artisan market stalls around London, and the reason why we ended up with the shop here was because it was so cold one, one, one Christmas. We'd done 19 markets in one December and we nearly killed ourselves. <laughs> and we sat over there having a cup of coffee and we saw that this shop was closing down and we went, right, that's it. We need a radiator, we, heat. we need heating. <laughs> and we'd met all these amazing artisan makers at the markets. We said we need to showcase their products to our community. I love the way you've displayed your jewelry. Um, so often people just either stick it in a case where you can't touch it. Um, Always dead against that. Very beautifully displayed. And I think uh, what I'm noticing that being in the shop, that it's not just gifts. This is a lifestyle shop, right? Which is gorgeous. Up here is all our local themed Ealing uh, products that we have made. Beautiful. Uh, sells People so love well. that, don't they? They really do. Yeah, right. they want to be on the map. Yeah. So we've got coasters just with a little Ealing or Lovely. Northfield or Hamwell or Brentford, all our little and local areas. And then the area as well. You look like you're pretty fully stocked here. I mean, have you got enough space for your business? No. No. So we, we've trickled onto a shop next door. Trickled? Yeah. You've opened up another shop? Yeah, next oh door. Oh my God, I can't wait to see it. Okay, so this is our children's shop. We expanded across here about four years ago about what you do within the community and why it's important to you. Because it is such a small local community high street, our customers are so loyal to us. Yeah. And we saw that quite a bit when COVID hit. We did deliveries, we just, because it's, it's so local. We'd yeah. get in our cars, we'd get on our bikes, we'd walk. People would order online, we'd parcel them up, we'd walk around, knock on the door, it's on your doorstep, walk away. So we didn't have that, you know, People who were shielding didn't have to sort of um, speak to us or interact with us. Um, and they really, really appreciated that. Yeah. It gave people an understanding of how important local is. Local oh, businesses. huge. Yeah. And then they say, we want to continue doing that because we were looking at the stats, Anchor Store, to have done a lot of research and something like nearly 80% of people saying, we want to keep local. We talk about rewilding it. Let's do yes. this again and do this from the heart and actually surprise people, make people feel joyful. So that was a big risk. How did you find your first shot? What did? It was a bit of a wing and a prayer, really, and not a lot of thought went into it, which is probably why we did it. Because no business plan. No business plan. Lots Instinct, of though. Yeah, lots of people said retail's dying. And we thought, no, we could, we could make this work. So we did, and it was just Sandra and I. We've got more staff now, but it was just Sandra and I in our first shop and um, we were just so happy when customers came through the door. We were so pleased, they could, oh they want to buy something from us. 
we went in to meet to some of what's your business plan and we looked at him and said what what's the business that? plan the guy who's who's trying to rent out his shop our landlord everyone had to go and present their business so we just rocked up and he said right okay can you just show us the financials your projection we went, what? We just went, oh, what if we just gonna have a really nice shop and that'll work and, and he went is. oh okay and then we, went, we obviously liked us. <laughs> we went out and we went, well, we're not going to get that one, are we? And he, he rang and said, yeah, go for it. Good yeah. for him as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We absolutely still love what we do. We've yeah. been doing it six and a half years. But we probably work longer hours now oh. than we did when we were in the corporate world. Of course. But we do it because we love it. Yes. Definitely. And we're never going to be millionaires. No. Um, but that's not what we're, we're doing it for. No. We're doing it because we love the community we live in. And it gives us something back. The captain's our own ship, aren't we? We yeah. can yeah. sail and do what we want whenever we want. I think that's such an important thing to talk about. It's about how we want to live. It becomes part of your life. It's yeah, not it work and life yeah. balance. Yeah. When people talk to me about, oh, my work and life balance, you go, oh, well, you spend so many hours working mm -hmm. at work. Mm -hmm. Why would that not be intrinsic to your life and your beliefs and how you want to live? Mm -hmm. And that's what you've done here. And I, and I can genuinely feel it. And it is a joy. There's a craziness and yeah. a joy because you're kind of making it up as you go. But here, mm -hmm. it's rather than I'm making it up as I go, you're instinctively feeling what's right because you're connected to the community and you can feel that. And therefore, you're creating and buying and choosing the products that you know they're going to love. Yeah, yes. Mm. It's exactly really great, girls, yeah. honestly. There's a reason I wrote in my High Street report why community, local community retail is the heartbeat of our high streets. It's because it's about connection, it's about interaction, of course it's about buying lovely stuff that makes our lives a little bit more fun and joyous, but it's about the taste levels of those people that have the shops, it's the socialisation and it's also that kind of safety that the world around me, my local, is alive and vibrant with people who love what they do.